the second part. Let's see what happened in this part. Of this part we see Godzilla who is cooking crocodile meat with the help of his explosive breath and we didn't even know King Kong could use explosive breath like this and now this life is in Iceland and it's got a new skill and now the explosive breath is improved because now it will generate radiation heat. Now Godzilla feels like he's the emperor of Europe. He got the throne armor the last time he signed on. And then a rat appears in front of him, it's a giant rat is there. Its length is 3 to 4 meters and its weight becomes up to 1.5 and Godzilla likes it very much because it is here alone and no one is with it. So both eat meat together and Godzilla says that if someone tries to threaten you don't take too much stress. I will protect you. And also now Godzilla is more powerful than ever has become Lee and its attack has improved a lot and even though it says King Kong comes in front of me. This time he will hardly be able to beat me. But I feel very lonely here I wish he could be a little brother to me be like and be with me and he's smart too so maybe he'll accept. Then Godzilla calls the system and says use all my evolution points and the system uses all the points so Godzilla evolves. Godzilla is only 0.5 meters tall when Godzilla evolves, to Godzilla's dismay. He uses his 40,000 deflation points to grow only 0.5 meters, and Godzilla moves on. I remember the last time I used evolution points, I got a lot of rewards too. But why not now then the system says you have never played an RPG game as your level increases you will need more evolution points to upgrade and after hearing this Godzilla becomes more angry because he has to reach 100 meters and he probably needs a lot of evolution points from him. But Godzilla says I won't care about all this right now. I just want to mend my relationship with King Kong and I'll get this food for him. After that he calls the mouse and says do you know where is King Kong then this mouse nods his head and says yes this mouse can tell by the smell of King Kong where is King Kong then Godzilla says that if you find King Kong I will give you a lot of meat and after hearing this he becomes very happy now both of them go ahead and there all these monsters are happy because Godzilla is going from here and saying let us eat there is no one. Now we will be able to survive here very comfortably but Godzilla is thinking it came to his mind that you guys wait for me I am just going to pick up my friend after that we both will come together then see you guys will not survive now Godzilla goes ahead and reaches near a cave and says it looks like very dangerous place is King Kong really here and he asks the mouse too. Then the mouse points to one side and seeing this Godzilla says let's go inside and see once and now when he goes inside he feels someone's breath but he is very weak and moves and there are many cobwebs inside and the environment inside is very strange and when you look in front you are completely shocked. There are many cells and when he when he looks in front of him, he is even more shocked because there is a girl in front of him and this girl is none other than King Kong. I don't even know if King Kong can actually change shape or not, but it seems, even Godzilla is surprised to see how a King Kong can change into a human and that to a human. Godzilla goes to this girl and asks her how you can turn into a human but he sees the wound on her chest which still hasn't healed and this girl says you are the same. How are you here they have come. Godzilla says that in reality you have become a human and are also talking in human language. Are you a ghost? who was in the form of a goblin and then King Kong says you look behind you and as he looks back there are many creatures here Godzilla also gets confused seeing what is the last one. And only then this creature attacks Godzilla but Godzilla catches it. The name of this creature is Dead Road Reptiles and its length can go from 10 to 60 meters and its weight can go from 40 to 100 tons. It always likes to live in groups, its teeth and nails are very sharp and its tail is poisonous. It is a great enemy of King Kong, but Godzilla finds it very disgusting to see this thing. And this creature tries to attack Godzilla. Then Godzilla crushes him with his fist and says how dare you bite me and Godzilla's hand gets scary liquid blood which is very disgusting and at the same time Godzilla is surrounded by these creatures and attacks Godzilla. And Godzilla crushes them under his feet but still they are too many and they attack Godzilla at once and starts biting his body and Godzilla says you guys are not going to leave me alone like this and looks like you have to show me your power how strong I am and Godzilla starts charging himself which all these creatures. 
shocks the girl and when she sees this she is very shocked but the blood of those creatures gets on Godzilla's body because Godzilla finds it very disgusting and then suddenly a creature comes forward to attack the girl grows up but Godzilla crushes him with his foot and says no one dares to touch this girl till I am alive. Now all the creatures are scared of Godzilla and try to run away from here. But Godzilla says if I allowed you to go from here then charges himself and uses explosive breath which kills all the creatures and this girl is also very surprised to see and Godzilla says I have nothing to fear no. No monster will be able to harm you as long as I'm with you and makes a heart symbol and then after that frees this girl from its claws and yet this Godzilla is looking at this girl's chest. Seeing this I think now Godzilla is a pervert and also says I am very curious to know that you how did you become like this and your wound is also very serious and now this girl comes down and goes to a rock and starts searching for something there. Then Godzilla takes out a bone from there and then seeing this Godzilla says are you looking for weapons from me there is no need to be afraid. I never bully the weak. But there is something in this girl and takes out some kind of fruit and says eating this fruit has made me like this and Godzilla is also surprised and says you ate this fruit and after that you became human. Is this fruit a mythical devil fruit? It's like a fruit in fantasy novels that if eaten can change anyone. Then after that they both come out and Godzilla says. Now you will witness a miracle and now Godzilla charges himself and uses his explosive breath to cook those creatures and this girl gets shocked to see and says it smells great and Godzilla says I don't want to eat these casting creatures but if I don't eat it you won't give me a single eviction point even though it's dirty I have to eat it but cook and eat it but it turns out to be delicious which is great and Godzilla says look how delicious it is now and both of them get very happy. Later Godzilla gives meat to both of them and both and Godzilla are eating meat with great pleasure and says sister ape you are already good but you can't be King Kong again if you don't become King Kong then something the reptiles keep on bullying and the girl says I can't change now it's impossible for me but Godzilla is thinking after all it's a kind of fruit and this forest is very dangerous and there are so many monsters in the middle of it all. It's very hard to survive it's hard but still this. Meat tastes great if I didn't come there today maybe. Those reptiles would have eaten it by now I don't know. Maybe tomorrow morning will be alive then after that. Godzilla calls the system and says that can't you change. It back to King Kong system says yes I can because I am a science beast system just I have to analyze that fruit then Godzilla says for that we have to find another fruit and so that you can analyze and it will turn into King Kong again when I analyze that fruit the system says maybe I can modify it so it turns into King Kong again then Godzilla says if that really happens it's possible I can turn from monster to human again and back to my world I will go. I think this place will make sense somewhere and maybe I will be able to get back to my family. Godzilla says to Sister Ape. Do you remember where did you get the fruit? Then girl says I remember. So Godzilla says when we finish our food you have to. Guide me and show me where the fruits are so that you. Can turn into King Kong again and after eating them. Godzilla gets a lot of evolution points and it very. Happy and thinking in my mind that maybe I have come to a parallel world after traveling so even if I become a human once then maybe I can live my life comfortably with this girl and that too peacefully with and with happiness and after that two hours pass and now these people reach that place but he looks here and there then human he is very surprised to see the skeletons there are bones and he says what is happening here and this girl points upwards and she says the fruit is above and it happens to be on the top of a mountain. Godzilla is also shocked to see this and the girl says that it is the same fruit but is Godzilla ready to climb? I don't know whether it is true or not. The Godzilla in me can climb mountains but now Godzilla starts climbing and then suddenly a flying creature comes from above and this Godzilla stops there because Godzilla is thinking that he can attack me if he if he attacks, you will be in trouble right now. Not in a position to fight but this creature is coming down very fast and Godzilla is serious now but their direct eats a fruit from that tree without attacking Godzilla and Godzilla is happy to see that because he wants to see that how does this effect work. Does it really turn the monster into a human? Can transform and now that creature starts blocking and actually it comes in human form. 
This fruit can work, it crawls but due to lack of wings it is killed by falling from above. And thus in this place there are many human skeletons and Godzilla also understands this. So Godzilla thinks in his mind, that this place is very dangerous. I can quickly take a couple of fruits and leave from here. But when he looks in front, there comes a strange bird, which is watching Godzilla from above. And the name of this bird is Death Bird and its length can go up to 65 meters and its weight is up to 130 tons. It is always at the place where someone has a date and it is looking at Godzilla from above and Godzilla is thinking after all. What is this death spirit bird doing here? Is it the guardian animal of this fruit tree? And why is it looking down like that? Has it come to haunt us? Is it coming down now is? It's going to bother me now too but I won't let it happen it's a very strange bird but so far it hasn't shown any intention to attack me Godzilla says hello brother my friend said this fruit is very tasty so I here come to take two of these fruits and test them once and Godzilla takes some fruits from them and says thank you brother I will never come to trouble you now and also this bird is thinking in his mind like once this Godzilla eats this fruit he will turn into a human. And then he will fall down and then he spreads his wings and very fast fly close to Godzilla and is flying under Godzilla and Godzilla says why is he doing this yes I have only taken two fruits then after this Godzilla calls the system and says that you put these fruits in my purse but the system says that you do not have any purse. If you want it you will have to pay 100,000 evolution points. Then Godzilla says that if I had known this earlier, I would hardly have used my evolution points in this way. But now it is too late because both of Godzilla's hands are busy and now this bird directly attacks Godzilla. And inflicts multiple wounds on Godzilla. Godzilla tries to attack with its tail but the bird dodges it. Now this bird gets even more angry seeing this. Godzilla uses his explosive breath and says now you see how I will fry you. I will make a kick and saying this it hits the bird but its attack has a lot of recoil and that attack goes towards that bird. That bird tries to dodge it but due to the heat of radiation its wings start burning due to which now it starts falling down but that bird somehow saves itself and then comes back to attack after that but then Godzilla jumps from above and collides directly with this bird. And sits up and now here Godzilla starts riding the bird I didn't know Godzilla could do that plus he snaps the bird's neck so he can control the bird and it happens now this the bird becomes more angry and flies very fast and it comes in the sky and Godzilla looks down from above and says that I have not seen such a beautiful sight in my previous birth. If I talk about it, I have hardly ever seen anything like this, I am very happy to see this sight, but this bird is flying very fast. Now he starts coming down fast and Godzilla thinks that this bird has gone mad. Now it will crash landing on the mountain, due to which Godzilla's condition starts getting worse. But then Godzilla notices a river on his right and thinks to himself that if I use my explosive breath and time it right, it's possible that I'll fall straight into that river and this bird will crash straight into the mountain. And says you are not only mad, I also have a job which is very difficult which I can do, didn't your mother teach you not to mess with a decent person? Then Godzilla himself by charging it directly attacks the bird and somewhere its explosive breath is working and Godzilla is going away and this bird is going straight towards that mountain now it starts going towards the river and the girl gets very scared but Godzilla's plan works and he falls on the river and the bird hits the fruit tree directly causing all the fruits to fall down and also the bird starts falling down the mountain with great speed and falls. Over the skeleton and Godzilla comes out of the water and sees where is the bird now this bird is lying on top of that skeleton and Godzilla is very happy and says I defeated him now tonight we are going to eat chicken and opens his mouth then a fruit falls straight in his mouth and Godzilla doesn't understand what has come in his mouth, but later he understands that it is a fruit. It's like a fruit that can be changed and now Godzilla also starts glowing. And now shifts into a boy form and is very surprised to see that he also has a muscular body and is very handsome looking and now he has a pigtail in his bum Godzilla didn't want to be small but now also what can we do and says I don't know that bird is still alive or dead it is very dangerous for me and I need 6000 evolution points now so that system can analyze that fruit just that bird is to collect and eat a bit of the flesh so that I can change. 
I will not change until the system analyzes that flower but the bird is not killed yet and seeing this worsens Godzilla's condition and now the bird flies slowly and there is a human body in its mouth and a crystal in front of it which the bird eats very quickly so that now the bird starts recovering with the help of the same crystal and now the bird is ready to fly goes and flies away and Godzilla also says that it is good that this bird ran away from here. Otherwise it would created trouble for me. But I am feeling very bad that my friend Murga is going away from me. That too at the turn. But this girl says to hurry up. We have to go to a safe place and we have to find some monsters that we can eat. Godzilla says now I don't know if I will get anything to eat because I am still in human body and hardly I will be able to hunt but then the girl says get out quickly danger is behind you and when Godzilla looks back it's followed by Imperial Crocodile which moves directly towards them to attack it. The Crocodile King attacks Godzilla from behind but Godzilla quickly dodges his attack and there are more crocodiles as well and Godzilla says I still don't have time to play with these guys. And anyway I am still in a small body and I will not be able to fight them alone it will become even more dangerous for me I have to stay alive and I have to run away from here and now he is running away from here swimming very fast and says that if I run away from here at this speed. This Korkorai will hardly be able to follow me but a big Korkorai comes in front of him and Godzilla also understands that he knew I could do this so came in front of me now I have no way now I have to fight it and takes a big jump and grabs his jaws straight crocodile jaws are very strong he crushes bones very comfortably but if he tries to open jaws then it is very difficult for him. But Godzilla says that you can't disturb me so easily even now I can stand in front of you and after hearing this this crocodile maybe become more angry and death roll very fast now Godzilla also understand if it keeps doing this so maybe it will survive it has to leave but it leaves it then there are many crocodiles behind it who want to kill it but then suddenly that girl comes holding a vine and says catch it. Now Godzilla too catches that vine and escapes from these crocodiles flies from there and reaches the ground and after reaching the ground, the girl becomes even more happy and Godzilla also says that I have never experienced such a Tarzan. But now the crocodile is more angry and chases both of them with great speed but Godzilla grabs the girl's hand and pulls her so that she escapes and the girl falls. She starts screaming now Godzilla grabs her hand and tells her to run away as they both will hardly be able to fight him and are running away from here very fast now Godzilla has become smaller and due to this his legs have also become smaller so that it is not able to run fast but there the system comes and says I am very sorry to see you in such a condition. Then Godzilla says system, you help me, you analyze. The fruit but this the system says sorry I can't break. The rules I can't analyze this fruit until you give me full evolution points and Godzilla says crying hey. Please help me see now your master is about to die. What do you want but still the system says I'm sorry. I can only pray to God for you then Godzilla says okay. Okay but I don't want to die naked then the system says yes I forgot to tell you one thing that you have. A skin set then now Godzilla wears his skin set then. Now they start running from there and then that girl starts climbing on top of a tree and this thing Godzilla sees and says that actually this girl is very intelligent. She knows how to use this power of yours and that girl jumped from top said that you also climb up but Godzilla says I am sorry maybe I do not have that much strength which was in my previous birth I was very weak in this I could not even do push ups properly so how will I be able to climb this tree but it's a fight I have to do it and tries to climb up before the crocodile attacks and starts climbing with great speed and when Godzilla sees his power like this he is very surprised. Even though he is in human form. But still it is very powerful and seeing this thing. Now this crocodile is more angry. And crashes into the tree so fast that Godzilla's foot slips and he falls from the top down. If you liked this video and want to see the next part. Subscribe my channel. I will upload the next part tomorrow. See you in another video. Till then bye.